Hello, Soul Tribe and family. It's your girl, 144 Priestess Messages. I'm here for another message for you today. Keep in mind, this is not a personal reading. It's general and timeless. So just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. I do have one very big announcement to make. Um, I was going to do it yesterday, but every single time I tried to record it, I was crying and crying and crying because I love Pisces so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. In all time, spaces, and dimensions, in the 6th, in the 7th, in the 8th, in the ninth, in the 10th, I love you. When it comes to all of these energies, I have been led to switch things up on this channel, which I've been talking about too, um, but I will be channeling for Divine Feminines and Masculines, which still means I'm channeling for Pisces. It just means that it's all signs and those who resonate as Divine Feminine or Masculine, which... All of you Pisces are, you know, so I just won't have the word Pisces attached to my readings, but I'm still reading for you all, you know, so I hope that you stay, you know, but I honor all of our journeys, you know, and wherever we may stay, wherever we may be led or wherever we may go, you know, so I will be reading for divine masculine and feminine energies and I'll be doing separate readings for divine masculines and feminines. It is just an energy, um, but when it comes to the divine feminine or masculine collectives, I'll be reading for you both and do separate readings for you as well as the videos I've been doing with energy updates. And so I'm led to really focus on the 144,000 ascension and awakening and everything that's going on and I love you you know the word Pisces just won't be attached to it um I had my own crying and ego deaths regarding it 144 as I say that <laughs> um but I love you and this is how I'm being led and so I do hope that you stay you know because it is you you are divine feminine you are divine masculine it just doesn't have the word Pisces attached to it um, and we will be bringing back the tarot course very soon. Um, but let's get right to the message. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me, personal reading, Akashic Records to dive into your soul purpose or past lives, or anything else, we do have a Divine Masculine Embodied class coming in the next five weeks. Just check out the website. It has everything that you need there. Uh, let's go home that energy. Or you can email me, let's go home 7777 at gmail.com. It's all in the box below. I do still have the single parent giveaway of $100. So just feel free to email me your name and your PayPal so I can pick out that winner by random on camera. We have Fast Track to Ascension, the Chosen One. All right, Chosen Ones, which everyone's a Chosen One. If you're a human, you are a Chosen One. You just need to remember. Um, and that's how, that's just a confirmation because that's how I'm being led to channel, um, which all of you are Pisces. I love you so much. Um, so we're going to get right to the reading. We are going to read for the Divine Masculine today. So the intention is for the Divine Masculine. I do have received the gift, Holy Grail, which is the Feminine. You might be attracted to a Feminine, um, and it can go both ways. And this is something I was channeling yesterday. I do have 7-7 seven, seven Rebirth, Personal Freedom Unleashed, all right? Masculines, you're coming into your mastery. You're also awakening to the Feminine within and without. Um, as far as the Divine Masculine Awakening, you're going to be awakening to a Feminine without. It could be a love interest. It could just be a Feminine that you're led to for your path that will really help with your path or when it comes to feminine energy you're being awoken right now by your emotions so if you're a divine masculine and all of a sudden you feel so emotional maybe you don't normally cry maybe you're having a heart expansion that's because you're awakening to the feminine within you and it's rising all right there's a lot of osiris energy today in general um so there's a lot of osiris energy we are going to grab a few cards to start even if you are a divine feminine, understand that you have masculine energy, or you could be reading this regarding a masculine of yours. And I don't know if I said reading or watching this, but both. <laughs> four, four, trust, ask, listen, allow. You could be seeing four, four. That's also the number of eight. Ask, listen, and allow. Divine masculines, I feel like your life is shifting a lot. We do have Uranus and Taurus, and Uranus and Taurus is going to switch things up in the earthly realms, especially regarding money and stuff. So you're going to be led to your higher mission. Um, ask, listen, and allow. For some masculines, you might even find yourself a little bit in the void or like wondering like what comes next. Ask, listen, allow. Ask when it comes to the feminine. It's the feminine energy, divine masculine. So... You could be asking the Holy Spirit. You could be going within to listen to your intuition. 4-4 four, four, as I say that. So you could definitely be seeing 4-4-4. Four, four, four. The key is to trust right now. You do have false twin flame on the bottom of the deck. Intense change. 
Um, there's definitely a heart expansion going on for Divine Masculines. Again, it's just energy. Uh, and the Holy Grail came out again, so feminine awakening over here. Some of you have a false twin flame that you're releasing. It was a karmic, it was a catalyst, it was not your actual twin flame. Um, and that's how a lot of us awaken is through who we think is our twin flame, but it's actually really not our twin flame. You know, it, it could be like a catalyst kind of twin flame energy or um, a karmic, but divine masculine, I do feel like you've come across a false twin flame and you're kind of releasing that now and wondering like what's next. Um, or there's someone that has really awakened you on your journey, something along those lines. Past life healing, creative expression, receive the gift. Uh, for some divine masculines, I do feel like you're wondering why something happened the way it did it could be regarding a feminine or it could be regarding your life at the moment things could be a little bit shaken up again uh, in whatever way it is we did have personal freedom on the bottom of the deck before i do have the dragonfly here so the dragonfly can mean something to you i also do feel like you're going through past life healing uh, there's a lot of orange and red so i feel like um and this is the green right so orange red sacral chakra the root chakra leading up to that heart chakra so i feel like you're maybe clearing your lower three chakras divine masculines um and you're also healing a relationship from a past life um and for some of you that was meant to awaken you're awakening also to your creative expression and receiving the gift for some of you, again, it's that feminine energy of awakening to like gifts within you. We do have past life present power on the bottom of the deck. So divine masculine, you're healing something from a past life. If you're divine feminine watching this, um, this divine masculine could be from a past life. Um, or it's more of like past life energies that you're clearing right now. But when you clear this past life energy over here, you're actually getting a gift in which I feel like it's an ideal or it's clearer direction regarding what's next. Queen of Heaven. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you have the Holy Grail here. Queen of Heaven. Blessing from the Divine Empress of the Skies. The Holy Spirit Energy. Sophia, the Divine Feminine. And I feel like this is the gift that you're receiving. Whatever this is. Could be higher guidance, higher wisdom. A lot of you masculines are awakening to your intuition, to your gifts, to your shamanic gifts. A lot of you masculines are these beautiful shamans and you remember. And for some, I do feel like you're being led towards a feminine. It may not be love. It could just be to work with or a feminine. You're being led and it's by the queen of heaven. So that's a beautiful energy. All right. So that's what I have for you, divine masculine. Uh, we're going to use this deck over here. I'm... It's time for a new deck when it comes to these energies. I'm going to get a new deck. All right, so Divine Masculine. I really think that that's beautiful that the Queen of Heaven is leading the way. A blessing is coming in. I do feel like there was that time of the void of like the unknown of like what comes next. You know, I feel like there was a tower moment in your life regarding money or a Divine Feminine. It's either one, so take it as it resonates. Um, and that was healing from a past life. And it was also meant to awaken you that... Something is higher. 818, as I say that, your mission is higher. You're here to embody higher. But a blessing, receive the gift, Holy Grail, with the Queen of Heaven. A blessing is coming down. All right, what's a one-card energy for the Divine Masculines? A bunch came out. I do have five of wands, so I do feel like you're clearing conflict. But that was too many cards. What's a one-card energy for the Divine Masculines? Um, we'll take these. It's still kind of a lot. High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. All that feminine energy. Also that intuition. Uh, for some of you masculines, you're really awakening to your shamanic gifts and intuition, which is beautiful. Uh, you have Seven of Wands, the Star, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords. I feel like you were on defense mode. 909 as I say that, so something could be coming up for the 99 portal. Um, I feel like this is also with the 99 portal, you're releasing karmic cycles, every one of us. And so I feel like that's a part of this energy is releasing these karmic cycles. So seven of wands is protectiveness. And then the star card over here could be healing. And there's also a feminine there. She's giving to the earth and to the water. We have balance, nine of cups, balance with the two of pentacles, nine of cups, and knight of swords. So you're balancing karma, 
for some of you masculines, I feel like there's something about your past life that you've just had to clear. Especially regarding masculine programming, which could be, you know, the, the tough guy and the, um, the protectiveness and the warrior and all that energy. But I feel like you're softening. 10, 10, as I say that, coming into the feminine, again, high priestess on the bottom of the deck. She is a naked woman over here. I also feel like it's in your emotions, okay? So I feel like there's been healing, and I feel like there's a divine masculine out there. Again, if you're feminine, this is your masculine within, or you could be watching this for a masculine without. There's a masculine here, though, that's honoring, wow, I'm, I've been holding up all of these blocks all these walls when in reality I just had to get naked with myself and heal. You know, when I, I uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I talk about nakedness, right? And nakedness is being vulnerable. Nakedness is being transparent, translucent. And so I feel like Divine Masculine, you're letting these guards down, which it feels a little bit unknown, right? To embrace the feminine within so much, or if you are led to a feminine without, it could be a little bit scary too. But you're being called, though, for this healing, which requires you to get naked. It requires you to be vulnerable with your emotions. Um, there is a lot of water there, too. And so some of you masculines are having a water purge by, like, the means of crying is what I mean. Why? Because you're balancing the masculine and feminine. And look at this nine of cups over here. So look at you just sitting over here. You're balancing that. That could be the past, or you could be going through that right now, or about to go through that. But what does that bring when you balance this karma or when you balance the masculine and feminine energies within? Quick movement. Knight of Swords. So that clarity is coming in really quick. Could also be communication. We do have Mars and Gemini. And that pre-shadow Mercury retrograde is back. It's coming. Retrograde is your friend. I promise. We're going to grab a clarification for the Seven of Wands. I want to see what it is that you are trying to protect. And then we're going to grab a clarification for the Knight of Swords. Why the Seven of Wands for the Divine Masculines? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Five of Wands. Okay, 12, 12, as I say that. Conflict. Eight of Swords. Where are you blocking yourself? Where is this inner conflict with yourself? Look at that. The Leo card over here. Taming the Beast. And I feel like it was a lot of like inner conflict or inner turmoil, especially for masculines who haven't fully embraced the feminine within. And that could, again, it could just be opening up your intuition. It could be embracing that you have emotions and that's okay. It could also be that you're avoiding feminine energy, divine feminines, like physically. And it's like, why, why am I blocking myself off from feeling? And we had a reading, I think it was yesterday, where it's like the masculines that are... Um, some that were maybe used to kind of more of the bachelor lifestyle. We do have four swords over here and maybe feared settling down things of those natures, whatever resonates with you. Cause that's all feminine energy. You're clearing that where were you blindfolding yourself? And that's what I'm getting is seven of wands protecting yourself, but from yourself, you're choosing to honor your healing journey. You're choosing to honor the nakedness of you. Honoring the feminine. Again, it starts from within, but then it comes without. Two of Pentacles. I do want to see, though, because look, he looks pretty confident after doing that. Three, 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 as I say that. He's like, okay, I got this. I understand all the parts of me. I accept all my light and dark. I accept all my emotions, whatever it is. And something comes in quick. Also, it's like the peaceful warrior energy. It's like Seven of Wands. I think I'm a warrior as a masculine. That toxic masculinity of all the physical, right? But as you embrace all of this, you are that beautiful warrior over here. Look at the butterflies, too. It's the peaceful warrior. But I also feel like something or clarity information is coming in. Why is the Knight of Swords here for the Divine Masculine? Three of Swords. You have Judgment. You have Ten of Wands. All right? I feel like you're healing a broken heart, but it could be a feminine, but I also feel like this stems from childhood. This may not resonate with everyone, but I feel like there's some childhood wounds. Again, it's like the healing journey over here, but it really stems from childhood. Could be a father figure, mother figure, healing father, mother wounds that have created all of this inner conflict and the ways that you block yourself from actually feeling. I, what I'm feeling is like a divine masculine 
who maybe just kept himself from feeling or just honoring, again, your gifts, your emotions, whatever it is. And I feel like you're getting ready for battle. Getting ready to step up and take responsibility. That was on the bottom of the deck. Let me see. Is it still on the bottom of the deck? Intense change. Um, but you're getting ready to take responsibility. That's what this feels like. It's like he's carrying all his ten of wands. It's like, yeah, well, you know, these are my wands. And I feel like that's what this is too, is right now it's the time that a lot of masculines are taking responsibility for their healing journey, for their actions, for whatever it is. Judgment, ten of wands. I am going to clarify it though. We're going to get a clarifier for each. Why the judgment card for the divine masculine? Why the judgment card? Why the ten of wands i want the ten of cups why the ten of wands for the divine masculine here six of swords okay so i this is beautiful energy we do have the high priestess again on the bottom of the deck for judgment you have five of swords the sun And it says, ask, trust, listen, allow, something like that on the 4-4 four, four card. So you could definitely be seeing 4-4-4. Four, four, four. The sun is also happiness, it's innocence, it's purity. I talked about that today too. And it's like, where are you in the way of that? Not remembering that you are an innocent child of God. And like we all are. And it's not saying that we're all innocent or that we're all perfect or anything like that. But remembering the divine within you. Putting on the armor of God. And it takes responsibility of where am I in the way of my own happiness? Where am I in the way of, of being vulnerable? Where am I in the way of not stepping and standing into my truth? Because the sun is here. But we have the five of swords. And I'll get a card for the five of swords too. I do feel like there's definitely ego death with the masculine. What's the Five of Swords here with the Sun? Why is the Five of Swords with the Sun? Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight of Wands could be a lusty energy. We have the wheel over here. I feel like you're growing up, Divine Masculine. As far as your ego, 33 seconds. Um, this could be sexually. Um, I think it can also be just as far as your ego. You know, it's like the competition games of like the masculine where it's like, I want to win. You know, like those, those, that sports energy, knight of wands, the five of swords with the sun. You're allowing your heart to lead the way, and it's going to take the sacrifice, 808, of putting burdens down. You have the Queen of Heaven here. Blessings are coming in, but you're putting the burdens down. It could be you being attached to making money, 9-9 nine, nine as I say that, work. Like all of a sudden things are going on at work. Why? Or like say whatever it is, money tests and things like that, because you need to lose your attachment to that. With the Knight of Wands, again, it could sometimes be the lust, the energy. What I'm getting is vices. 1833 as I say that. It could be porn. It could be addiction to like substances. Maybe it's alcohol. Maybe it's marijuana. Maybe it's, again, whatever attachments that you just can't let go of or that you make excuses for, you're taking responsibility with the judgment. You are your own judgment. No one can place judgment. You are your own judgment. But I feel like you're stepping into that because we do have the sun over there. And we do have this beautiful energy of coming out of that. Six of Swords with the Ten of Wands. So you're coming out of troubled waters. Look at that. You're coming out of them. But to come out of those troubled waters for the wheel to turn for you, you take responsibility. So I feel like there's a lot of facing of really just self. It's like, where am I holding myself back in life? You know, um, where have I like been lying to myself? Seven of Cups over here with the Emperor. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here for... Yeah, why is the Seven of Cups here for the Divine Masculine? Yes, this is regarding money for some of you, the Chariot. Um, it's like 
for some of you divine masculines, it's we have this programming of like the man comes home and makes the bread and brings the money and this and that and works hard and all those different things. Some of you have had an ego death regarding that um, because it was like something that attached to you, you know, um, when it comes to that. Seven of cups, four of coins with the ace of coins. Knowing that you're very abundant, divine masculine, and the wheel turns when you understand that. Also following your heart when it comes to money. Some of you are being taken away from environments or, or jobs that don't serve your mission or your highest good. The Empress over here. So when it comes to the Seven of Cups, Four of Coins, and the Ace of Coins, knowing you have options. Can you clarify the Four of Coins? Two of Swords. Yeah, not look at that. Ace of Wands with the Two of Swords. You don't see that you have options, but you do. All right, so if you're going through those different things as well, it's to release fear, it's to release attachment, really to these earthly realms. Again, it's Uranus and Taurus retrograde. So you could be experiencing this regarding those types of things, like just things, right? Tangible things, money, could be connections as well. And a 111, I feel like the way this lesson has served, it's like you've had to embrace your feminine, you know? So it's really actually mirrored the feminine within where like maybe you had an ego death, maybe... You had a good cry. Uh, I do feel like there may be some, maybe there's some masculines that like had some sort of like depression. We do have Ace of Cups here. So your cup is overflowing. You have a blessing coming in, but you have to face this. This was past life healing. So if this happened in your life, if you are feminine and you're dealing with the masculine going through this or the masculine within, this was for past life healing, 144. Can I have two cards of advice? That almost came out. Beautiful. Look at you, divine masculine. You just have to learn the lessons, clear the past lives. Why they almost came out. One more. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, look at you. Look at you, Divine Masculine. Look at you. Okay. This was not, this did not feel good. You had to clear lessons from past lives you haven't cleared yet. Go check out also your North Node and South Node. You have to lose attachment to things to things in general, two, 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 losing your attachment to this lower realm, this earthly world. Moving away from environments, people, places that don't resonate with your highest mission, your highest good. And I feel like this has also mirrored that feminine within where you had to face some, for some of you, I do feel childhood wounds. Could be from a father, things you learned, things you experience, or mother wounds, whatever that is. We're going to, we'll grab some more Oracle cards, but look how you end this reading. Six of wands, nine of coins, making even more money. The wheel's going to turn for you. You just need to get through this and understand that you are abundant under God. You are abundant. God provides for you. Losing the attachment, fears, uh, well, I say fear, so be fierce, <laughs> but fear, scarcity, lack, working through those wounds, through the old toxic programming, perhaps regarding masculine energy. Again, if you're a divine feminine watching this, it's just about money. That's ma Money is masculine energy. Things are going to shift for you 100% and you're going to have a victory. There's people cheering you on in the Six of Wands. You just got to learn those lessons. Clear the past lives. So that's how it served you. You have blessings coming in. Blessings from the Queen of Heaven. Receive the gift. That's how the reading started. That's how the reading is ending. All right? So just honor what's come up understand the lesson thank god have gratitude gratitude is the everyday attitude and know that you are so abundant bottom of the deck is full moon temple could have something to do with the full moon i know the new moon is coming out new moon in virgo uh collective wisdom kinship group library i always think of the akashic records when i see this um there's also a treat so this could have something to do with like just collective energy in general um there could also be something like in your family tree that means something to you. Maybe you've been looking into it. I don't know why I see like AncestryDNA.com, that kind of thing. So just take it as it resonates. What else can we, can we get for Divine Masculines as advice? Beautiful. You're on a new vibration. Pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Your vibration is rising, Divine Masculine. You know, and um, it's masculine energy. So everyone, soul tribe, like... When your vibration rises, 
what doesn't resonate will be discarded, you know, and that's just the process of it. But understand that it's being replaced with higher. I'm going to grab one more card. They're saying two more cards, so I'm going to grab two more cards. What else do we have? The Divine Masculine. The World. Fifth Chakra. Throat Chakra. Archangel Gabriel can mean something to you. It's also the Throat Chakra. So you're activating maybe your voice to speak. We do have the world. For some of you, you have, and not even for some of you, for all of you, you have something to offer the world. You know, I do feel like some of you are awakening to your voice. That could be how you're being led. The world is also a new cycle. And I noticed the lotus flower, which the lotus flower is grown from the mud. You know, so if you're in a little bit of mud, understand that that lotus flower is coming out of it. And the world, a brand new cycle is coming. All right. And you're a leader. You are a leader. That's why your vibration is rising. That's why everything is changing is because you're a leader, Divine Masculine. I'm going to grab one more card. Beautiful. Appreciate yourself. Refuse to be used. But there's a feminine energy here. So again, if you're watching this, you can still be a Divine Feminine and resonate with these energies. It's masculine energy. Or you can resonate as a masculine without of you, maybe that you're dealing with that's going through this. Refuse to be used. Pull away from your fears and refuse to be victim. That's also just this energy in general, like whatever's happening for you, it's happening for you, not to you. You will never be happy if you don't end the toxic arrangements that imprison you. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. It's like, where are you being protective and kind of being too protective of yourself and holding yourself hostage? Love yourself. You deserve better. You deserve, you know what you deserve? The world. Masculine, feminine, however you identify all of it. You deserve the world, you know, and refuse to be in your own way. Refuse to be used by others. Pull away from all of these fears because so much higher is coming in. That's what I have for you. I love you, Soul Tribe and Soul Family, so, so much. If you would like, again, a one-on-one -on -one session, Akashic Records or anything else, any questions, you can check out the box below. I love you and you have a great day.